everyone and welcome back. I know it's been a minute since I've made a cooking video, but the day has come, we are here. And as I mentioned in my previous video that I posted, we're gonna be cooking a homemade meatloaf. And it is probably the easiest meatloaf recipe that you will find. Um, so we're gonna be making that. We're gonna be making some homemade mashed potatoes. And typically I judge my mashed potatoes. I'll roast garlic and I add a couple other little ingredients. But today is just simple mashed potatoes, which is potatoes, milk, butter, um, garlic salt, and some coarse ground black pepper. So my sous chef today is gonna be the husband and he's gonna be in the kitchen helping me cook. So grab yourself a glass of wine, something to drink, sit back and let's hang out together and cook this wonderful meatloaf. So we're gonna start off with all the ingredients that we will need today. So let me show you what you will need. And also when I cook, I have mentioned it in previous cooking videos, use what you have. Don't go out crazy buying specific ingredients because as long as you have the main star, like the ground beef and you know, eggs and some breadcrumbs, the rest you can modify. So just, if you don't have the seasonings that I have, use what you have in your pantry. Seriously, I do that with all my recipes. I will look at a recipe and I'm like, okay, I have a chicken, I have the, I don't know, the herbs and this and this and that. And if I don't have some other stuff, I'll just kind of modify with what I have. Or sometimes I'll, I'm, I'm known for just modifying and adding other ingredients versus what's on the recipe. So again, make your meatloaf your own, but this meatloaf turned out so good the other day that I made it. So I wanted to share this recipe with you guys. Okay, so I have two pounds of ground beef and each roll is a pound. I have the beef and onion Lipton soup um, uh, seasoning. And I will say this would probably be to me the star of the seasonings in your meatloaf. It turns, it makes your meatloaf so, so good. So if you have it on hand or if you're at the grocery store, pick it up. If not, no biggie, you don't need it. But I definitely think this is a game changer to the meatloaf. We have breadcrumbs, garlic salt, coarse black pepper. I'm gonna chop up some garlic and add garlic to it. And this is a leftover onion that I had in the fridge. Gonna chop that up, finally chop that up and add it to it. I have two eggs. Also for each pound of meat requires one egg. And I have some Italian seasoning and a little bit of Cajun seasoning because that's my favorite seasoning ever. And then I'm gonna make a glaze for the meatloaf, which only consists of ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and some brown sugar. I don't think anyone can ever um, pronounce this word properly. So we're gonna just go with Worcestershire. Okay, so as I said, I don't think there's a proper way of saying Worcestershire sauce. Worc I don't know, but you guys saw the bottle. You guys know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna be making this wonderful, delicious, easy meatloaf, which I hope it inspires you guys to do it. And then as I'm making the meatloaf, my sous chef, a la husband, that's right here. Oh, look, he's too tall. <laughs> he's gonna be making mashed potatoes. And again, it's just simple mashed potatoes, which is just, my favorite potatoes are the red potatoes. So we're gonna do red potatoes. We're gonna cook them, boil them until they're nice and tender and then add some butter, lots of butter, um, milk, garlic salt, and black pepper. So let's get going and um, start cooking. And he's focusing because he is getting his little potato station ready over here. <laughs> Say hi to the YouTube family. Hello, YouTube family. <laughs> and look, so serious. <laughs> and while he's working over there on the potatoes, I am gonna go ahead and get a mixing bowl and add the ground beef, all the ingredients together, and then we'll go ahead and use our hands and get in there and work it and make sure that everything is nicely combined together. That way we can stick it in the oven. Okay, we're gonna add two pounds of our ground beef in the bowl. Put this in the trash right here. Then we're gonna add one pack of this Lipton beef onion soup. And then I've seen 
thing where people add both packs, but because I'm adding other seasonings, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the one pack. So we're gonna do that. Then I'm going to add some garlic salt. And I will have, and again, I don't use measurements, guys. So one thing about me, and I know I need to get better at this, I don't have measurements. I just kind of eyeball everything. So season this to taste, honestly. So if you guys don't like a lot of salt, you don't have to add a lot of salt. Um, you can omit, add, but again, I know I'm really bad about that. I've been cooking for years and I've just gotten used to just kind of eyeballing everything. One day I will get better at measurements, but for right now, season to taste. So I added some garlic salt and then I'm gonna do some coarse ground black pepper. And then I'm gonna add some Italian seasonings. And then I'm gonna add some Cajun seasoning, because why not? That was the last little bit of that. And then add some ketchup in your meatloaf. Again, I just eyeball it. Breadcrumbs, add some of that, cause that's gonna help combine everything. And then, the two eggs. Let me get something to crack the eggs on. And I know you guys probably are trying to figure out how many, how much of the breadcrumbs um, you need to add on the package on the box of the Lipton beef and onion mix. It says three fourths of a cup of bread breadcrumbs, and that's kind of what I added in my bowl. So just to give you guys an idea, but also I will have this recipe in the description box because I obviously want you guys to do this. So um, yeah, I'll have it all detailed in the description box. So now I'm gonna chop up some onions and garlic and add that into the mix. Looks like there's a lot of onions and garlic, but I promise you guys, once I mix everything, it'll be just fine and it will dissolve um, while it's cooking. So this is everything and I'm about to 
combine all of these delicious ingredients. Okay, the only thing is do not make fun of me. I do not want to get my hands full of ground beef and I don't have the little fancy cooking gloves. So remember what I said, make do with what you have. This is my glove, a Ziploc bag. So I am gonna go in there and mix everything. Hey, it works, but that way when I'm done mixing everything, I can toss the bag and my hands won't be all yucky with all the ground beef. So that is what we're gonna do now. is combined all these little bits of onions that you see in the bowl it'll all get nice and tender and pretty much you won't even see it once the meatloaf is cooked so trust me when you add all your veggies in your meatloaf it will all turn nice and tender you won't be able to see it your kids won't be able to taste it so add the veggies guys and now that the meatloaf is done the good thing about my recipe you don't need a loaf pan I basically um, toss the meatloaf, the loaf, the ground beef, whatever, in my little um, pan. And then I just kind of shape it into a loaf. And that's it. You don't need a loaf pan. Don't go out and buy one. Use whatever pan you have. Shape it into a loaf. And then this, is, this will work. So I'm going to do that now. been washed actually let me take my ring off dear sue chef okay take your jewelry off my hands have been washed now I'm gonna shape the loaf yes and I know I'm touching the ground beef now but it's different than you putting your hands all up in there Look at that beauty. Look at all the onions and everything. I know it doesn't look pretty, guys, but I promise you it's gonna taste so good. The sous chef back there, he was working nice and hard and watching those potatoes. <laughs> so now we're gonna make our glaze, and our glaze cannot get this easy. Again, all it's gonna be ketchup as much as you like to taste, whisk -sh 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 sauce. And I have about a quarter cup of brown sugar. And I'm just going to put this in a measuring cup, mix everything, and pour it over the meatloaf. It's going to taste so good. where you can add um, half the glaze while it's roasting in the oven and then the other half of the glaze once the meatloaf is done I'll go ahead and add the rest and then just let it roast for another 10 minutes until it starts to um, thicken up and get a little caramelized so this meatloaf the last time that I made it I cooked it for one hour and it was cooked perfectly so I'm gonna go ahead and again I, I preset the oven on 390 degrees and then I'll have it cooking for an hour and then it should be done. And then the sous chef should have the mashed potatoes done and then we will be ready to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this guy in the oven. Oh, and stick it uncovered by the way. Oh my goodness. 
look at this. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. Look how good this looks. Don't mind the black on the side of the pan. I put it on broil so it can caramelize um, the sauce. But this is heaven. Guys, this is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and garnish it with cilantro i mean not cilantro parsley and this is fresh cut parsley from my herb garden and i'm just doing this pretty because i'm filming for you guys because if not i would not be garnishing it with parsley but amazing it looks so good the star of the show and then we whipped up some homemade mashed potatoes and they are divine and then we have some brown gravy back there simmering guys Okay, I am so hungry, so I am about to slice the meatloaf and plate it. That way we can indulge. So let me go ahead and plate dinner for tonight. All right, guys, did you see that plate? Oh my goodness, I am so, so hungry. But as you can see, this was such an easy recipe and this is a perfect meal for like when you're busy, you know, during the work week with kids, work, and you don't have time to make like a nice hearty meal. Make some meatloaf. It's literally just throwing ingredients in a bowl, mixing it, shaping it, and sticking it in the oven. It is so, so easy to make. And I think a lot of people I think meatloaf is not given enough credit that it deserves because it is such a comfort hearty meal and nothing pairs better than mashed potatoes with a delicious succulent piece of meatloaf. So now we're going to do a taste test. Look at that. Oh God, I wish you guys can smell this. It is so good. Okay, let's give it a try. And I'm gonna eat it with some potatoes because you have to eat it together. Take a bite. It's kind of hot. Oh my God, that is so good. Oh my God, it's so, so good. I'm so happy. I think I nailed this meatloaf. I made it last time. And I did it again, and it is bomb. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and my sous chef, my husband, and I cannot wait to make more cooking videos for you guys. That way we can hang out together. Hope it inspires you to get in the kitchen because food is my love language. I love to cook. This is the way I show my love to my family members. My husband says, yeah, you show me too much love because I'm, getting I'm gaining weight, but hey, at least you never go hungry, so. <laughs> Until next time, guys, bye. I'm about to stuff my face.